should probably grab my controller and do things, I guess. Hello! We're playing more Dark Cloud today. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing Dark Cloud on Wednesdays. I'm trying to figure out how I wish I had more time to stream in general. Cause like for now we're gonna keep playing Story of Seasons, but I wanna do more like cozy games in general, you know, whether it's Rune Factory, Stardew Valley, the other Story of Seasons games, old Harvest Moon games, whatever the case may be. Like I really wanna do a bunch of those. But, like, I'm trying to figure out how to fit them in in the long run. I could do them Sundays instead of the Bethesda games, but, like, we never even finished Morrowind, and I still want to play the Bethesda games, especially Morrowind, um, like, to finish it. So, I'm just like, hmm, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out how to fit it in, but I don't know how we're going to do it yet. Because I don't want to stop playing the PS2 games. One, we have a long way to go. And two, I have a giant collection of them over here that I need to do. Um, I still want to, like, play through games. And the only day to really do that is on Wednesdays. I mean, I, I could just, like, <laughs> Wednesday, just stream for, like, 12 hours, man. Just never stop. No, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds terrible. I'm just joking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's no way I would die. Uh, <laughs> but for the time being, we're going to keep doing Story of Seasons, Pioneers All the Town, and uh, Dark Cloud slash whatever the next game we go to finish is, depending how long this takes. Um, but after that, yeah, no, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. We apparently need to repair this. Do we have... Yeah, we have 10 repair powder. Okay, good. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, anything here. Because I don't really remember much. Frozen tuna mallet. Did we... Was I doing a grinding session last time I played? I might have been. Because I don't have, like, any of my... Oh, wait, no, I do have my good weapons. I just put them at the end over here. Did I do the same thing for you? I did. Okay. There's Steve plus two. Yeah, I might have been doing, like, a bit of grinding last time I played. I don't remember, though. How do we attack again? Oh, nope, that that uses items. How do we... Ooh. How do we lock on? Circle. Okay. Hi, Sam? Is this is this literally just Sam? I can't see shit, Sam. Hopefully you're just like gonna... Oh, that kind of hurt. Your boy. <laughs> oh, wait. Did Sam just off himself? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Let's just change characters. Because, like, she's so much easier to use than anybody else. I'm so... Oh. <laughs> like your actual boy. That's what you're talking about. My, my bad. <laughs> and I actually, technically, I did not kill your boy. He offed himself, dude. I didn't do shit. So you can't blame me for this. <laughs> you just got the alert that I was live? Yeah, I'm live. I'm here. Twitch is always dumb on how they, like, do alerts. Sometimes it's, like, super quick. Sometimes it takes freaking forever. You never know what you're going to get from Twitch. Do I have... No, okay. I thought I might have had a thing. I maybe do. Maybe I gave it to someone else or equipped it to something else. There's nothing on there. Because I think the last time I was playing, I think I was grinding. And then the last time I was grinding, I'm pretty sure... I made one of those those things, the synth spheres that you get. But I probably would have put it on whatever weapon I had equipped, so maybe I didn't. Maybe I already like mixed it into it. Whichever one. I don't think I would have given it to him. Because like honestly, screw him. He's, I don't know, he's not bad. It's just all of the melee characters, man. They just kind of, I don't want to say they suck, but like the range characters are just so much better because they can avoid combat and just shoot from a distance. 
Wait, no effect? Is it because you're guarding or... Huh. Do you just have, like, too much defense? I thought we still had a minimum of one, though. That does an attack of 16. Steve here, though, has an attack of 53. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> you might be able to withstand the, like, bone slingshot, the steel slingshot, whatever the hell it's called. But ain't nobody withstanding the, <laughs> the shot of Steve. Steve OP, bro. This thing's about ready to level up again. I think... Okay, yeah, so we can't we can't kill Sam with our normal slingshot. That's annoying. I guess we could try out this dude, see how he does with his frozen tuna. Alright, can you like stop running for a second? Maybe attack or something? No, no effect. Is it why? Why is that a thing? Attack of 22. Is it because you're set to ice damage? We can turn it off. Ah, it's because you're set to ice damage. And I'm, I'm assuming our bone slingshot or whatever the hell it was is also set to ice damage. Oh, so you can block attacks, but when I try to block an attack, it doesn't do shit. Bro, this camera is absolute dog shit. That was... Did he kill himself again? Bro, that's so annoying. Do I at least get the stuff when they do that, or...? I don't know. I don't know what it was at before he offed himself. Well, whatever. Now that we know that's the problem with him... Is that the problem with you, too? Attribute? Yeah, you're set to ice damage. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll keep this dude for now... He does need, like, experience for his weapon sooner or later. I imagine we can't just use Zhao here forever. I imagine. Maybe we can, but... <laughs> spout. Who needs a spout on their house? Does somebody here live in a teapot? Stew. Maybe it's like a whole cooking stand or something. Okay, no, we're definitely not dealing with the, the gassy boys. We're just gonna shoot you. Oh, that's right. We did figure something out last time. I forgot. We can save a lot of weapon durability by changing weapon to a good weapon, like Steve plus two. Roses were your mother's favorite. Steve had a mom. And then we can switch back. Actually, we don't even need to, like, switch back immediately. We can kill like that, and then once the death blow hits, see, Steve plus two is at four. Steel slingshot plus two is at 58 out of 60. We'll equip it. Wait for the death animation to end. And there you go. Sting Steel slingshot plus two is ready to level up. <laughs> the, game's, the game's just a little bit jank in that regard, but it works, dude. Metal Breaker? Increases damage to Metal Monster. Uh, sure. Upgrade. Yes. And then... Customize. We don't want Ice. Fire would be good for where we're currently at, I guess. I don't know what we need, like, in the long run to level up Steve. Steve is, like, my goal to level up right now. You need MP... Thunder Holy, Metal, Mage, I don't know what the other one is. MP, Holy, Thunder, Metal, Mage. MP, Holy, Thunder, Metal, Mage. Well, we do have some MP, but like, we also have Mage Slayer, so we should probably just put some Mage Slayer on. What are we currently sitting at? Six for Mage? What is... It's not that one. It's not that one. What are the Skulls? Hmm. 
No, mimics are, would be 10. I'm guessing it's like undead, but I don't know which one that does. Man, I do want to put like the fire on it just to make it more useful here. But if we keep doing the thing where we like switch to Steve and then back, then like, yeah. And then I guess it doesn't really matter. What we should do though is lay things out in such a way that it's a little more useful. So like, move all of these things down. I don't know which one of these I want to level up first. Maybe the Wise Owl Sword? We should look and see, have I put any work into leveling up one or the other? No, they're both still base without any upgrades. So it doesn't matter which one we do first, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do the Wise Owl Sword first. I'm gonna put you here, and then we'll keep you there as, like, a backup later sort of thing or whatever. There we go. That, that'll that just make it easier to swap in between the two weapons quickly. So we don't have to do as much menuing each time. I think that's the final push cart that we needed for the one person. So we can finish that now. Oh, there's another chest here. Okay. I was like, I see the thingy on the map, but I don't see the thingy. Treasure key? Oh, that's for a treasure chest. Man, <clears throat> the big chest. I, like, get those so little that I honestly forgot what it was. And I guess we might as well also, if we're not going to be using the steel slingshot plus three that much anyways... We might as well go ahead and not equip it. Turn the ice back on for extra damage against the non-ice enemies. I, this is so cheating, but like... <laughs> bruh, if it's in the game and it works, then... Well, it's in the game and it works. Use good weapons to level up weak weapons. It's like uh, it's like Pokemon, you know. You you put out the the small boy, let him do a tiny bit of damage for the laws, and then oh, apparently I was installing a game. Uh, and then you bring out the big boy, the boy that actually does all of the attacking. It helps if we remember to re-equip stuff though. There we go. We're just trying to get, like, as many attribute points as possible on Steve. So that we can upgrade it to I th whatever it is. I think it's Super Steve. I don't know, like, what's super about it, but... Do we have to, like... No, okay, we don't have to relock on every time. Oh, shoot, well... Whatever. We're gonna forget every once in a while. It's not that big of a deal. To swap the weapons. It's just ammo conservation and trying to get as many, like, XP, as much XP as possible on the weak stuff. Because for most monsters, we could just use the weaker weapon. It would just take much longer to kill anything with it. And use a lot more repair powder because of it. So this way we save money, we save time, all the good things. So hope we get like a free water refill, maybe a health refill, but I'm not seeing any on the map, sadly. We're going to kill everything too. There's nothing over here but a chest, but screw it. XP, clearing dungeons feels good and all that stuff. Rock, paper, scissors, damn, I can only do paper. Is that a joke? Is he missing, like, hands or something? Oh, are his hands, like, stuck like that? Just straight out the way they are? I mean, I guess he is, like, an inanimate object, technically. Well, inanimate, I guess, isn't fair, because he's obviously, like, able to talk and shit. So there's something to him. 
He's not inanimate, he just can't animate. <laughs> Ooh, don't run into the toxic cloud. Wrong weapon. We need a button to, like, quickly switch weapons. That would make this much easier in the long run. Of course, I'm assuming this wasn't an intended thing to do. Ooh, some antidote. That'll come in handy if we get poisoned again. I'm not sure what creatures down here can poison us, if any. I wouldn't be surprised if those, like, cursed roses or whatever they are can. But since they're called cursed roses, I'm also inclined to believe that they curse, not poison. So I don't know. Not a big deal. We'll figure it out. And if we do get poisoned, we have the antidote. Pretty sure we have a few antidotes, honestly, but... Is it another rose? No, it's whatever you are. I'm pretty sure the, like, steel slingshot or whatever that we have is, like, the worst slingshot you can get, too. Well, I say that. <laughs> Looking at the bone slingshot, maybe the bone slingshot's the worst one. Because that one's... Uh, granted, it's not leveled up at all, you know, to be fair. But it looks bad, bad. So, yeah, probably just that. Jack store? Does that mean... I'm assuming that's the actual shop but there's already a shop in this area it's just like outside of town instead of in town so do they like have something more fancy is there a reason for for the for the thing for the other shop oh we need a Never mind. I thought we were needing to heal Steve. Oh, we get, like, shots off sometimes without spending any ammo on Steve now. I'm guessing because the endurance is, like, maxed out. Oh, yeah, bow does look cute. It's a good bow. Anti-goo amulet. Thank God, man. I hate when I get gooed. is our 36 we're getting there all right well that's a clear for this level uh we could go back to town and like start building again but like i don't know man what's the point right we can just go down another level we have plenty of resources i'm pretty sure yeah we have a bunch of water a bunch of food all kinds of food how do we sort square? There we go. Why is it not putting, like, food by food? That's weird. It doesn't... Not that big of a deal, I suppose, but... You would think it would put the two together. I thought it put the two together before. Hmm. The other thing we're really, like, still not getting is this. Whatever lets us go, like, here... It's filling with water in my hearing things. I hear something like whistling. So I'm assuming that's supposed to give us a hint on what item to use here. But like, between me being an idiot and <laughs> new to this area, um, and not having played in like a week, I don't know. You wouldn't use a hook or an amulet. I have no idea what we would use here to get to the other one. Is it just like an actual whistle? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's just an item that we get so little of in general in the dungeons. It's kind of annoying. The drop rate must be like terrible or something for those. To be able to go to the B sides of the rooms or the dungeons. They're supposed to be like stronger enemies and... Oh, there we go. They're supposed to be, like, stronger enemies and better items and shit. 
on the on the B side of the dungeons, but we never get to go. We never get to explore them. Reduces ABS. Um, so we probably just want to stick with Steve because we're not trying to build up the ABS on Steve. Oh, didn't it say like it can't be changed anyways? Yeah, okay. So that's actually fine. We're already on the right item that we want to use. Or the right weapon that we want to use, rather. At least for Zhao. For anybody else, it might be a problem. Lamp. I guess we can just leave him out for now. There's no enemies around or anything. And now that I know the secret of you just have to stand still to be able to change characters and items, it's like... It doesn't really matter. Hi, Captain. Looks like he'll die pretty soon with or without our help. Good observation, Steve. Sam's gonna get fucked, dude. Oh no! What did we get hit by? Oh, there's another Sam. That was rude, Sam. See what your boy did, man? Then shot me with an ice cube. It was rude. <laughs> an ice spike at that. It wasn't even a cube. It was sharp. Sunshade. It's weird how this is like a desert town and then we're in the ocean. <laughs> is that is that a common thing for oceans and deserts to border each other? Some road. Ooh, magical crystal, very nice. Oh, hi Mimic. Um Nah, we wanna we can't change weapons. We want to switch people. That's what we want to do. Lock on, please. Oh, I forgot how annoying these things were to hit. Okay. Definitely going to fix Steve. We do not want Steve to die. If Steve dies, we basically just have to, like, restart the game, dude. He is by far our best weapon. We've dumped everything into Steve that we've had. Oh, what are you... Bro. <laughs> Target lock on the person that's right in front of us. Not the dude on the other side of the wall that we can't even see. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, eat some food. Drink some drink. I can't tell on the map if there's water around here anywhere. Kind of weird considering we're underwater, but presumably you can't drink it anyways. I am pr I'm pretty sure it's the ocean that we're in. I guess it could be a giant lake or something, but I think it's ocean. Probably don't want to be drinking the ocean water. Even if it is a lake or something, I guess it could just be, like, dirty water. No other enemies or anything in here? No. Like, empty. Well, I guess some of these could be mimics. Yep. I don't know why I even locked on. Okay, screw that. Sword too weak. Back to Zhao. You can really get screwed by these floors if you don't have, like, the right weapon pre-equipped whenever you come in here. If you just had your weak weapons equipped, then, like, you're just kind of screwed. Like, sure, you can make it work, but, like, it'd be so annoying, though, man. How long it would take to kill anything. All the damage you would probably take. Trying to kill stuff, but only dealing, like, six damage. Another sunshade. If I can resist the urge to explore in between, like, dungeon floors, I think we're just going to clear a whole dungeon and then go back, explore the other towns, and repeat for all of the new drops from clearing more floors. It does mean we'll be slightly, like, less powerful. Because we get a lot of, like, stat-boosting items that way. But it's less time wasted, like... Going back and exploring areas that... We don't know if there's going to be anything useful there or not. 
We could do it every like five or ten floors, but then I'd have to remember to do it every five or ten floors, and that seems unlikely, honestly. Just me remembering something. Bro, we're getting all the repair powder. Let's go. Revival powder? That's nice, I guess. I'm fully expecting more, yep, mimics. How did we miss? We were point blank. What's with those pretty eyes? Steve got a thing for mimics, man. More antidote drink. It's weird how many antidotes we're getting in a dungeon that I don't think we can get poisoned. I, can, I guess maybe, again, the, the Cursed Roses, maybe they can poison. The breath attack, noxious gas shit that they release looks like poison, at least. We got the king, let's go. Is he gonna be grateful for us, like, returning him? Give us our own house, maybe some riches? Probably won't get anything, honestly, for bringing him back, but... It'd be nice, you know, if you wanted to help us out a bit. Guess we'll drink some more water. Since we're not getting any down here. We're not really getting drops from, like, enemies in general, are we? Very few. We're stealing stuff every once in a while. Getting our, our 17 gold. Aww. I didn't see that you were that close. Oh, you almost killed me, bro. That was rude. Guess I should pay a little more attention, huh? Oh, we do have the auto repair powder equipped up there, I guess. So if we did accidentally screw up, we wouldn't lose Steve. We would just lose like 200 gold from not repairing ahead of time. Hook, hook, hook. Do we go down another floor? I see no reason not to, or up another floor, whatever. Yeah, screw it. Um, which floor are we on, though? I wish it told us. Does it when we enter, maybe? Oh, is this a boss level? Captain, somebody's here. <laughs> Any landlubber that trifles with my ship won't leave here alive. Hey, all ye yardies. Feed them to the sharks. Uh, Cap, he's over there. So the captain's an idiot. That's... <laughs> Is it gonna be... No, it's not automatic. Okay, it's not like the... I was expecting it to be the, like the other boss fights oh <gasps> okay he hurt should we we should probably eat two food just in case bro thank god okay that was much worse than i expected we actually had to use like our healing powder is there stuff down here to collect? There's no map, so it is just a boss floor, right? Yeah, no, I guess not. It's weird that it, like, it's completely different than the last one. Wait. There's a crystal with a red beam. Maybe it has something to do with opening this door. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't do this floor yet. And we can't leave? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You go here to leave. Duh. No sign of monsters. Yes. Leave for free. So we probably have to restore part of the town before we leave. I'm assuming we're going to get some sort of crystal or something another. Uh, is there anything we want to sell or buy or anything?
I guess, like, getting some more... Water? Or food? Some, like, basic food might actually be okay. You're healed. How do we see, like, the other people? Isn't there a way? Yeah, here. Oh, it gave everybody a heal. Cool. Thank you for the five bits, Noodle. Appreciate that. I mean, we're okay on food. We have three cheese. Could sell the bait, though. And probably the anti-goo amulet, because we never really use them anyways, the amulets. For a bit of cash. I don't remember what all he sells, if there's anything we actually want. Do, do you, like, buy these? No, okay. Probably not going to use the blizzard gem either. You can have that. Do you buy keys? 400. I mean, we can just guess. You know? Screw it. I want the 400 gold. Oh, we're so close to a gold bar. What else can we sell? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm... It's a stand in powder. Probably don't need five of them, but I don't know. It feels wrong to sell it, too. Um, hold up. We'll sell, like, one of these things. One of the single MP ones. How much do you buy that for? 150? Screw it. There we go. Give me a gold bar. We could buy, like, the heal all item. I guess that's what we were slowly building up to. But I want to save money for right now until we open up the new shop. Because the new shop might have new items in it. Maybe better items. Maybe a weapon? That'd be cool. I don't know how many weapons you can actually buy in the game or anything. Georama parts. Okay, we should have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> New cart for you, for Rudy's store. Am I... Oh. Wait. There we go. <laughs> collection complete request. I don't know what any of that means. Well, collection is probably how much we have in total. Complete is how many houses we have complete, I'm guessing? I don't know. Jack's store. You need a sign. You need... Is it this? And a lamp. We know that much. Do we have Jack, though? We do. So then we can put your house down somewhere. I feel like this is kind of the shopping district, right? There's the cart there. We have, like, the little fountain, the sheriff's office. So I think that's a good place to put that. We'll have to go talk to him to see what else he needs. King's hideout. Well, we got King and we got Stu. And then we got a sunshade for you. The sheriff's office just needs this. The other prison. Fountain, you need to spout. That's done. Awesome, okay. So now we just need to go to Jack's store to see what else he needs. I'm assuming this is going to be for King, the car. I don't know what other stuff he's going to want, though. I guess we can go here first. Let's go... to the jail. See if the event will trigger. Let's go, dude. Hi, stream. This sheriff's office will resume operations starting today. The town's safety is in good hands. Come inside. The sheriff's waiting. I think by getting the sheriff back, we can go in that other house that we have an event at. The one that we couldn't go in before. Or no. Was it an event or just we couldn't go in to talk to the dude? Either way. There you are. Stream, right? You're the one who restored the town, aren't you? What an amazing young man you are. Amazing, isn't he? I'm Wilder, and I'll be glad to help you from now on. If you run into any problems, come to me. Moon Orb. Hmm, I've never heard of it. Sorry I couldn't help you with that. Sheriff, Joker might know something. Joker? That Joker who sells crystals? 
Yes, sir. He's been acting funny lately. The word is that he's running around to find a rare crystal. I see. He's the kind that does anything for money. Probably trying to stock up on some weird items. That moon orb is sort of like a crystal, right? Joker might know something about it. You should go see him. What? You haven't met with Joker yet? I see. Okay, leave it to me. Sam? Yes, sir. Just a minute, please. Uh, try to make it fast. Here it is. Ah, thank you. Take this with you. If Joker gives you a hard time, show him this. He'll cooperate after that. Is it like a warrant for his arrest? Yeah, <laughs> oh, sure. Search warrant. Close enough. See you, stream. Take care. Can we have that big-ass gun behind you here? Because, like... That seems good to me. Can we go in the prison cells? No. Do you have any more stuff around here? Nothing? Really? Just, like, one chest? I would have thought with as many levels as we cleared, there would be more than that. Is there anything behind here anywhere? No? Well, okay. There's a chest over there. Anything at the fountain? Do we even do anything with the fountain, or is it just, like, for show? This camera really is, like, a pain in the ass, dude. Hello, Rudy. We got your fish stall stocked up now. Hi, how may I help you? The store's reopened today. Lots of fresh fish here. Why don't you buy some? Oh, that's right. You're my first customer. I'll give you a special discount price. Here. Flopping fish. Make sure to keep it cold or it'll get rotten. Always place it next to ice if you keep it in a bag. It'll give you some free ice today. Oh, that's cool. You just, like, put it next to the ice to keep it fresh. I still don't understand the point of the ice. Or, I'm sorry, of the fish, though. Because we've got a few of them, but, like, what do we do with them? Hold a touch. Keeps fresh fish for a... Fish fresh for a long time. Chocobo, hello, sir. So, like... You sell favorite a sea fish, fishing bait. Okay, so I get the fishing bait. But what's the point of the actual like fish? Do we just keep one around for now? I don't I'm pretty sure before we always just like sold them. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. We're leaving your store. I don't... I don't understand the point of your store. What do we need fish for? Fluffy donut. Is that my favorite food? Yeah, it is. More defense. Let's go. How's it going? I'm well. I'm tired, as always, of course. But I had a long-ass nap today, so that's nice. <laughs> How are you good, sir? Another chest. Anti-curse amulet. More stuff to sell. This here is a shop, too, I'm pretty sure. And there's a picture of a weapon outside, so maybe they do specialize in weapons? Or maybe, like, weapon equipables? Like the, the attribute thingies? The customized thingies? Whatever you want to call it. You don't have any more chests here, no? Okay. We should probably talk to him. Who are you from out of town, huh? Okay, I'll introduce myself. I'm Jack. I own this fine weapon shop you see before you. Have a look around. Uh, do you need anything for your place? Shades and a chimney. Okay. We'll check your inventory in a second. But can I finish your building? Just took a nap as well? Hell yeah, dude. Nap gang. Let's go. Chimney and sunshade. Perfect. Okay. Back in we go. The game was Prop Hunter. Oh! So you found another one? So I'm down for it, man. 100%. Happy to buy it. Or one of the other ones, if you want to try one of the other ones instead of Prop Hunter. I have no idea, like, which one's best, but... Hey, stream. Thanks to you, now I can reopen my store. Drop by Jack's store for weapons big and small. Oh, just so you know, I don't give gifts or anything like that. Don't get your hopes up. Wait, was it not open before? 
<laughs> so, you gonna buy anything or not? That was kind of a <laughs> lame event. Okay, then. Whatever. And then he just kicks us out. Like, didn't even give us a chance to buy anything. Just, <laughs> just say, you gonna buy anything? Get the hell out of here. Alright, whatever. Uh, is the store open? What do you sell? Kitchen knife. To water monsters. Interesting. Gladius. We have one of those. Bone slingshot sucks. Big bucks hammer. Magical hammer. Stroking it makes you rich. Hmm. Okay. So. I wouldn't mind getting the big bucks hammer. And the platinum ring... I'm assuming that's for whoever the next character we get is. Because, like, nobody that we have now can use that as far as I know. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no. Sorry about that. I need to sell you this first. There you go. Yeah, okay. So that's for him. And then, we don't quite have enough money. We need... We don't need much more, though. Um, We have a bunch of these ice ones. Sell you one of those. And then I guess buy the platinum ring? Yeah, okay. So that's for somebody we don't have yet. At least now we have a backup weapon for whoever that person ends up being. And you don't have anything else you I would want. I was hoping he would sell, like, the the stones that we put in to make weapons better, honestly. But I think that's everything over here to do. How close do we have to get before chests actually, like, show? So I don't know where else it's going to hide them around here. I say, like, 15 minutes after talking about not hunting for chests until we finish the dungeon. I told you I would struggle to resist it, though. Uh, let's just, like, teleport to where we're going instead. How about that? Okay, that's Kings and the other dude. We haven't even used that area there. Depending on the next few stores that we get, we might not end up using it at all. What else did we get, though? We have some road. Do we want to put any more road down? I wish we could just, like, drag the road out. Oh, we can't put it all the way over there. That's annoying. There's some road there for you, I guess. And then... Can't put any there. Can't put anything in between the two houses. Can we? No. We just, like... It doesn't connect either. I'm really not a big fan of the roads. There we go. Roads are down. We can always move them later. <laughs> and some trees. Trees are nice. Especially in like a desert oasis. There we go. In the housing district. Beautiful. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we need to go to Joker's house and then talk to the people in Kings to see what else they need. Hoping it's just the car and another lamp. That would be nice. Doors closed today. Go home, will you? How do we... What? You have a warrant? Oh, okay, it's automatic. Watch this weird-ass dude be the next person that we're gonna get. What? What do you want from me? I'm busy. I have no time to play with children. Moon orb? What's that? What makes you think I know about such a thing? Well, like, I don't know. The people in town thought you might. It's kind of crystal-like. You seem to sell crystals or something. Can't believe you are such a fool looking for something you know nothing about. Do you know what I am looking for now, boy? You want to know, don't you? 
Yeah? Then let me tell you. It's called the Life Sphere. He who possesses the sphere is supposed to be granted eternal life. It's a legendary sphere. Sure, it's somewhere here in Queens. It's just that sphere contains fearful magical power. It's said that he who holds it in his hand will have eternal life but lose his most precious possession. Well, of course, the most precious thing other than your life. I heard it came here around 100 years ago, but nobody knows what happened after that. Exciting story, eh? I'm gonna find it. When I get it, the only thing I will lose is going to be this store. I think I've got an idea where to... Ah, nothing. Forget it. Well, it looks like I already said too much. Somehow I don't feel like you're a stranger, though. Let's be friends, huh? We're both looking for the same thing. I saw nothing but these useless crystals. Come by some any time. I mean, okay. <laughs> So they do just the damaging. Oh no, he sells attribute stuff too. That's cool. I don't think we... Well, no, we do need holy ones. What was it? Holy and something. I forget what the other one was. That we needed to upgrade Steve. Get him up to Super Steve. I just don't remember what the other one was. Not that we really have the money for it right now anyways. We could go grab more of our gold bullion. From... I don't know who does storage around here. But it's fine. We don't need it right now anyways. But okay. Ooh, chest. Fruit of Eden. We'll save it. I think the Fruit of Eden is the one that gives us, like, more life. I think. Increases max health, yeah. And whoever our next person is, we'll probably want to give them more health, so. <laughs> hey, I finished rebuilding your house for you. Yeah, and just buy something. Dude's kind of a dick. Are you one of King's workers? Let me introduce yourself. My name is Stu. Not like Chunky Stu, just Stu. It's weird he spells it S-T-U, but above his head it says S-T-E-W. Something as small as a lamp. We have to put it in the house. Okay, so he wants a lamp. Are you king? Hey, didn't you forget the sunshade? It's important. No. I'm pretty sure I already put the sunshade on, actually. Is king gonna be, like, chilling inside here? Aha, he is. There he is. Eh, this is no good. Commoners don't just walk in and talk to Mr. King. What do you want for your house, you dick? Don't forget about my car. Okay. That's pretty much what I figured, but that means we should be able to finish them, too. I'm assuming they'll give us what we need to get down to the next level, then? Because nobody else has. Lamp. Car. Walk. Oh. Oh. There's a chest here. Oh my god, dude, this camera. Can we actually go in here? No. Thought maybe we could go in... I don't know what that's meant to be then. I would have thought garage with where it was on the map. Or on the building, but... I don't know. Didn't let us go in there, so I guess not. Stu, seems like somebody's at the door. Could it be the boy who restored my gorgeous mansion? Yes, sir, it seems so. Yikes, so he's come. Uh, he'll be asking for money. Money and more money. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's no good. No good at all. Wait, I've got an idea, boss. What? King bullying a boy? Can you imagine the bad press? No, no, you don't want bad rumors before the election. Ah, what do we do? Boss. Oh, that's it. We still have that option. But that is quite, uh... I don't want to be involved with that. No worries, it'll be okay. It's a two-for-one deal. All right. Is he, like, gonna lead us to our death? I don't... So you're the kind lad that completed my house for me, eh? Indeed you are. No need to tell me everything. I get the picture. Wait over there. We'll get what you need. Yeah, something special. Playing the Fallout 4 update tomorrow? Probably not, because they didn't really do anything, did they? For the PC version, at least. Just a, uh... What, like a single new quest or something? And then that's pretty much it, I think. As far as like actual new content goes. I don't think it was all that big of a deal for, at least for PC players. 
for console players, I'm, I think it was like, you know, better frame rates and um, maybe higher resolution or some shit. I don't remember. In this world, there are things so valuable that they're invaluable. In other words, there are things money can't buy. And this is one of them. Here you go. An appreciation of your hard work. Please take it. We got a genie's lamp. Huh? You tell me you don't want it. Why? If you don't have a good reason, then you must accept it. You don't want to embarrass King by going without letting me return the favor. Then please accept this and be on your way. Oop. Wow, we'd be clumsy, though. Oh, do we get the new party members? The genie, the one that uses the wristbands. And then she, I guess, can open the, like, crystal thing? How can I serve you, King, darling? Uh, nope, nope, it wasn't me. I haven't done anything. Oh, I see. It's not you this time, huh? Ah, oh, that's no fun. So, it's you guys this time, and how can I serve you? No, it's not us. I don't know anything. Why is everybody, like, so scared of this genie lady? You caught me for no reason. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, I guess maybe this is why they're scared of her. <laughs> King, darling, I sense it in the air lately that every time I come out, you seem upset. Or is it just, or is that just my imagination? N me? No, never. Don't be silly. You never uh, upset me, really. And say my name out loud. Come on, with feeling. Ruby. Ruby sounds good to me. Uh, the great genie Ruby. Yeah, that's the spirit. But you know my greatness already. So why do you go and call upon my greatness and majesty for no reason? Actually, it was him. I was <laughs> like, okay, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> These people are weird. Ah, so you're the one, the boy everyone is talking about, going around fixing the world. Wow, that's awesome. And is this dark genie that's caused this mess that powerful? Stronger than me? Hmm. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm in. I'll fight that dark genie with you. Just give me a holler when you need me. So if she uses magic, does that mean that she's another ranged character? Maybe? Uses powerful magic. Yeah, okay. She starts with 90 health, so she starts with more than everybody else. Well, we can give her... I guess she doesn't really need the Fruit of Eden. She already has more than... Zhao does, but we can give her the the gourd for more water. Her thirst level has gone up, if you know what I mean. Do you eat fish? I, don't, I still don't understand what the fish are used for. You know what? I'm just going to Google it, man, because I've been wondering this whole time, and I have no idea. So, like, let's see here. Oh. <laughs> Optijack posted for me again. Thanks, man. I don't even think he's still here, but... Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Add. No. New. Chrome, why are you being dumb? I don't want to track the price. I just want a new tab. Dark cloud flapping? Flapping. Flapping fish. What the hell are these things for? What are the flapping fish for in dark cloud? The flapping fish can get you back, get you to the back floors. You can sometimes find it in the shipwreck or just buy it from the fish lady. Oh, that's how we get to, okay. That's how we get to the B side of the dungeon here. The flapping fish. Weird, but okay. Uh, let's save in case anything bad happens. And then I guess go to the next floor. Maybe explore the B side. I'm excited to try out the new character. I really hope that she's, like, a proper range character. Oh, I just saw a chest off in the distance, but... Oh, well. I'm sure it wasn't anything that good anyways. Still probably gonna end up using Zhao more, because Zhao has, like... a really good weapon. And it seems like focusing on one person to level up would probably be better in the long run than multiple people. Unless, like, we get locked out of using that character. 
platinum ring, so it's ice, so not very good for here. But we should still probably use it and then just turn off the ice. Oh, this one's stuck with ice, though. That's a little annoying. Hopefully the first enemy we come across is not Sam. And yes, you are ranged. Perfect. Okay, so can you open this? There's a crystal with a red beam. Maybe it'll react with some spell. Cast spell? R2 to change view. Circle. Did I misread it? Oh, we probably need to use the, the fire, her basic weapon. Since it's a, a red beam or whatever. Instead of ice. Yeah, there we go, dude. That was kind of interesting, I guess. Still not sure, like... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about her right now. But more range characters better, I guess. I like the way she rides the thing. Can you shoot up here or no? Oh, yep, nope. He can definitely shoot up here. Okay. Let's switch to the slightly better weapon on you. Oh, she's dead already. Well. <laughs> you stand in powder, leave. Oh. Um, do we have like any money? We don't really need it right now. Oh wait, but if we, okay. We have like revival powder too, I'm pretty sure. But the revival powder never seems to trigger. Back to the steel slingshot. Give me that XP, please. Wrong weapon. I'm gonna constantly forget to switch in between the two men. It's gonna happen a lot. Hello, Captain. Do we need to have... Maybe we need to have the, like, revival powder. Maybe it needs to be equipped to work. Maybe that's the problem. Can we not equip it here because this stuff's here? Now can we equip revival powder? Yeah, there we go. Maybe that's the trick. We've been playing like this whole time and I don't think we've ever had the revival powder work, so. We have so much repair powder. We could just use some of the the basic weapon for a bit. But why waste it, I guess? We can always just sell it and get more money. Water, please. Watch us finally find, like, a watering hole now. All this time searching for it, not finding it. Giving up and using, like, one of our last waters. Um, no, we don't have a key yet. I don't think. I know we got the hook, but I don't think we've gotten the key. Okay, well, so those are both dead ends. Double check our items. Yeah, no. Hook, no key. Other way! We could just go down to the next floor, but I'm, like, positive there's still gonna be some Atla around here somewhere that we need to collect. There's a lot of twists and turns on this dungeon floor.
Other than doing like more attribute damage, Steve's already maxed out attack wise. Sam so curious how it would actually be any better to, to upgrade it. Oh, there's definitely gonna be some mimics here with how many chests there are down here. Unless it's possible to like break the attack cap, but I, I doubt that's a thing. Maybe it just has like really good attributes. Or does like bonus damage against everything? I don't know. I'm just curious like how do weapons actually get better when you could just keep throwing stones on them to get them maxed out. Honestly, relatively easily. I guess it's attack stat isn't actually maxed out yet. It's endurance and speed is. But attack's at like 53. It's it's getting up there. A few more like good upgrades and yeah, he's basically there already. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was fully expecting Mimic. I'm going to be fully expecting Mimic from every single one of these chests. Stamina drink. Okay. Save that for like a boss fight or something. Some bread. That's nice. Watch there not be any mimics, man. A room with like eight chests in it and somehow not a single mimic. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, before I forget, uh, steel slingshot, customize. Okay, we need, we need MP for our upgrade. I have no idea what MP does either. That's another thing. Like MP is a stat that we can get on these weapons, but so far we've never used mp for anything and like the one magic using character that we have has you know it's just based off of weapon durability the magic that they cast so what the hell's the point of mp as far as i can tell normal characters can't use any sort of magic ability or anything i guess that's another thing i could google try to find out getting thirsty mm. can I make it I don't know if I can make it oh no she's dead though ah uh, I hope there's not Atlan there we're gonna have to redo this level can we can we use revival powder like as an item We can! Okay, dope. Good, go back. So maybe it's never automatic. Maybe you have to use the stand-in powder first. And then... Which... Okay, you have the wrong up. weapon equipped. Oh wait, no, this one's blue. It probably... Does it, does it use blue? Does it use any? How do we... There we go. So what would happen if we didn't have the platinum ring? Would we just not be able to go in here, or...? Kind of... Oh, I walked right into it. And I'm frozen. Okay. It does automatically use revival powder. Nice. Should probably try to not keep dying, though. That would be even better. Let's, like, get our health back so we don't instantly die again. She's not honestly doing, like, terrible damage with this thing. It's not as good as Zhao, but can't expect it to be either. Oh, his shot just, like, goes so quick, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Screw it. We're switching back to Zhao.
Zhao with the wrong weapon equipped and walking into a toxic cloud. Bruh, we are... <laughs> we are doing horribly all of a sudden. Oh my god. I'm not sure, did we switch soon enough to get that? So the toxic cloud didn't do anything to us though, I noticed. Other than like hurt us, obviously. Now nah, we didn't switch soon enough, oh well. Thirst is at its limit. Use water. Just the basic ass water. We don't need the good stuff. Oh no, our fish spoiled. Okay, well, oh well. Basic water. And I guess we'll go ahead and give the fruit of Eden to Zhao. Since we know that Ruby has more health than, than Zhao does anyways. And this room ended up being useless other than monsters. Cool. I guess we won't be exploring the back room, sadly. It's kind of a... <laughs> it's like the easiest key to get to get into the back rooms, but it's also the most annoying because it has the stupid limit on it there with how long it lasts because the fish spoils. You can use the ice to help, of course. I wonder, like, if you have multiple ice blocks, are they just used up as they keep the fish fresh, or are they all going to be used up at the same speed? Steve is fine. Steve has a bunch of endurance. I forgot to switch weapons. That's fine, but we want to repair Steve now before I forget. I mean, Steve's going to need a level up sooner or later anyways to apply the, the thingy. So it's not like getting experience on him is bad. We just want to keep most of the experience for the other dude. So we can get the, the synth sphere out of him. Tasty water, nice. We haven't found an Atla in a while. There are no more Atla in here. This was a very Atla light floor, I guess, man. Was it just very front loaded or is there just less here in general? Or I guess there could be more floors in this one than there are in the other ones. I was expecting there to be 18-ish. I think that's been pretty average so far for how many they all have. think. We will still go ahead and kill everybody though. And I guess drink some more water. Sure, tasty water. E. Have the right weapon. We do not switch. They really don't like the pirate chariots. Least favorite enemy by far, man. Didn't even drop me anything good. Wait a second, is this a watering hole? On the map? Is that what that is? Bruh, <laughs> of course it is. Son of a bitch, dude. Alright, well, might as well refill everybody's health and water. I didn't recognize it on the map. I don't know why. I thought it was going to look different. But literally as soon as we use our premium water though, or, or tasty water, whatever you want to call it. I think we can still get one of them on here. I think one of them died too quickly, but... 
WTF is this game? Dark Cloud. <laughs> it's a PS2 dungeon crawler slash city builder. <laughs> it's a mix of both. It's it's weird. It's a good game, um, but it definitely has some problems, I would say. And I don't know if you've noticed, but my slingshot that I'm using here uh, is sentient. It talks to us um, mostly about being terrible at rock, paper, scissors because it can only play paper. Because, you know, hands don't bend. It's a slingshot. <laughs> it's great, man. You should try it out sometime. Also, hello, you know, normal way to <laughs> say, you know, I'm here. Sorry, my mind's not working all that well right now. Big surprise, I know. You get thirsty quicker. Okay. Could be a lot worse than Thurston. How much quicker, though? That's pretty quick. That's annoying. Okay, so we're going to be using a lot of water here. Does the... Oh, no, the genie does definitely get thirsty. We had a... We already gave her, like... A water upgrade. She's a genie. Why does she need to drink water? Premium water? Good. Hopefully it keeps giving us free water. Because, yeah. That could actually be an issue here. Alright, gal. Or whatever your name is. Hit this thing with your frozen fish. This one never runs out, though. His frozen fish lasts forever. But, well, I, I mean, I guess the other ones aren't frozen. They're fresh. There's, there's a difference. But why couldn't we just, like, freeze them, have them last forever that way, and then dump them in the pool of water whenever we want to get to the back rooms? Purple face thing just isn't working for me. Good, good, good uh, observation there, Steve. <laughs> Steve the Slingshot. I'm still super annoyed that we have to switch back to the main dude every time we want to open an Atla. That's a major quality of life change they could make if they ever decide to... ...remake the game or reboot the game or whatever. Same with all of these things, man. Like, only being able to cross with certain characters. That's fine if, like, they need to be alive to be able to do a thing. But just, like, switch to the character, switch form, or, like, jump over the thing, and then switch back or something. Oh. Pretty sure we're using the wrong weapon, but he's weak, so fuck him. Yeah, these dudes are easy to kill and terrible at getting up ramps. Pack plus one, nice. It's another, no, it's a Gion. Yeah, we're gonna switch to Steve for you. We're also gonna fix the steel slingshot repair. And equip. Look at that, a fish with legs shot at by a talking slingshot. See, man, it's just... <laughs> That's the game. There's a... <laughs> That's the whole game for you right there. You play as a, a fox girl, cat girl? I think technically a cat girl. Uh, with a talking slingshot that shoots at fish with legs. So you can save the world from an evil genie that dances. Or was summoned by a dance? I guess summoned by a dance is more accurate. Pokemon Crystal, damn. I still need to buy another copy of Crystal one of these days, man. It hurts, though, because, like, Crystal is $100. It's stupid. It has no reason to be that expensive. There's literally, I don't know how many copies they sold. I'm going to guess, like, 6 million of them. Granted, that's worldwide, but still, like, point is, there's a lot of copies of Pokemon Crystal out in the world. There is absolutely no reason for them to be so expensive. People are just ridiculous with Nintendo games. Especially Pokemon.
treasure key. Probably just end up selling that again, honestly. For the money. We don't come across that many treasure chests, and when we do, we can always just guess what the thing is anyways. What the trap is. Worst case scenario, we get like poisoned or blown up on or something. It's not that big of a deal. Oh man, I thought the the item we oh, thought the item we stole was a freaking missile. Hmm, chesty boy. Map, thanks, I guess. I feel like the map doesn't do much for us at this point. Holy shit, we're thirsty again. They weren't kidding, though, when they said that you get thirsty quicker in this one. I wonder, does that mean that we'll also take damage quicker? From being thirsty, or... I can't tell. I don't remember how quickly we normally lose health for being thirsty. Um, completely quenches thirst. I mean, I feel like we should use our regular water first or tasty water first whatever and then work our way down oh, hey a chest oh never mind it's a king mimic man i got excited it's like oh hey we have that key and i was just talking about never finding these stupid chests but look at that there we go nope game decided it didn't want me to have the chest anyways Weapons ready to be upgraded. We did customize, right? Yes. Upgrade, upgrade. Now then, we can... Because I think at this point, it's high enough that we can... Yeah, we can status break it. We can keep upgrading it if we want further. It just needs like more and more experience to do so. The bone slingshot sucks. But I mean, like, whatever, right? Let's just go ahead and status break you. And then, I guess, we really need to focus on what, like, MP at this point? Yeah, we need MP, Thunder Holy, and then whatever those things are. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna make it even better. Status break. And then on Steve, we can go to Customize, remove a Holy, and apply Steve, or the Steel Slingshot, whatever. Oh, attack is at max. It maxes out at 60, it turns out. Okay. So we got some Holy. I wish there was a good way to see, because it won't show us what else we need. It's based off of like base stats, not what's currently equipped. So I don't know how much more MP we need, how much more holy we need, any of that stuff. Until we upgrade it. So maybe we should focus on upgrading Steve now. So that we can see what else we actually need on the, the next upgrade. Wait. Did we? Oh, okay. Oh, I got scared for a second, man. When it showed our weapon was broken, I was like, no, 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 no. I've been very careful not to let Steve break. I even have the, like, auto repair powder up there. No, we're good, thankfully. More Atla, more Thirst. There's no way we're making it back to the other side. We're gonna need to get rid of some items eventually. I've been saving bombs for like boss fights. Even though we do have a pretty good weapon now. Bombs are just like so good. Is there another pirate chariot? Oh, okay, we're good. Back to main dude. Open the Atla. More stuff for the town. Okay. 
<laughs> I won't say that word for five minutes. I think I can handle that. We'll call them, uh, pokies. <laughs> Look at my pokey. <laughs> my pokey pokes people. It slashes people. It shoots at people. Is pokey. Ooh, or for the genie. We can switch to the genie, and then it's not even that word we can't say. It's not even a pokey. It's magic. Look at my magic. There we go, dude. Hopefully we don't have any freaking whatever those things are over here. The cannon dudes. Can't remember what they're called. I've forgotten their names. What's your, like, do you have a charge attack? You do. Oh, well, you failed at trying it, but... Getting thirsty. Yeah, 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 hush. We just freaking Kamehameha them? Nice. I mean, I'm probably just gonna let this basic weapon die. That's what I do with most of the characters. Because then it's just like... Oh, I said the word. Has it been five minutes? I don't think it's been five minutes. <laughs> Bruh, it's so hard when you're not thinking about it. Oh, we're not even using the basic pokey. We're using the, the freaking... The one that we bought. Okay, I'm switching characters back to Zhao. One, because she's thirsting to death. And two, because like... I don't know. I just, I like Zhao. Zhao's good. I shouldn't have switched back to Zhao. Well, how dare you? I'm so sorry! I wasn't... It just happened. It just, like, I wasn't even thinking. It just, you know, words. I mean, that's the whole point. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> Especially if you pick a good word. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oops. Alright, down to the next level. It's fine. I'm sure it's been five minutes anyways, right? Hasn't been, like, two minutes at all. <laughs> Literally two minutes, yeah. Should we... Yeah, the water's right there. We should take a free water refill before we go down to the next level on everybody. Water and health refill, actually. And we have so much freaking health with him. We can, like, make it clear across the dungeon for free anyways. Refill, refill, and you, and the genie, which, does the genie just have, like, an unlimited supply of water in, in the, the lamp? How does that work? She didn't drink anything, or she couldn't have been drinking anything, like, inside there, right? So why does she need water now? Unless it's, like... Is it just some sort of stasis type type mechanic, you know? While in the bottle, in the the lamp, they're just stuck in stasis and don't need anything? Just hibernation, sleeping it out? Oh. Well, that's lame. Uh, we're stuck using her now. I mean, that's fine. She's not terrible. She just doesn't have a particularly good weapon, so she's a little annoying to use. And her defense is also super low because, well, we haven't given her anything for defense yet. And she gets thirsty pretty quick, so we might need to use up some water. <laughs> She's a new character. What do you expect, you know? She hasn't had a chance to get anything useful yet. Pokey durability decrease. That's annoying. Her weapon's also kind of... Mm, her pokey... Is also kind of slow. What we need to do at some point is come up with like a punishment whenever I screw that up. So this isn't the first time it's happened. At least our attribute seems to be pretty good against these, these dudes. Which was unexpected because when we were fighting Sam earlier, like our attribute was working against us. Repair, and then I guess we could also customize. What do you need to build up, though? <clears throat> Attack, MP, holy. That's it? 
for that one. This one is everything wind and holy. Attack MP holy. Um, well, we might need holy for Zhao. I'm more focused on Zhao than I am on other people. So let's just give you a couple of attack points. At least our bullets are bigger, our magic bullets here. So it's like, it's harder to miss the mimics whenever we're shooting at them. Tea fish, that's just bait. It's more stuff to sell. It's the first game I found where I hate fishing. Which is sad because you can get like, what seems, what I would assume is a pretty good weapon from doing so. And other items, but like, our time's up. It's fine now, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, I just realized that I had screwed up again, but it's fine. We should probably kill the Mimic first, just because it's much quicker, much more annoying. I like her much better than I do the Hunter's Kid. I forget his name. The dude that uses a frozen tuna as a weapon. I'll say that much at least. Probably mostly because she's a ranged character. And ranged characters are just OP. Bruh, one of you have to be a mimic, right? These two chests are just too close to each other to not be a mimic. Yeah. Oh, you're still alive. Damn you. I don't trust any of these chests now. Too many mimics on this floor. Is this gonna be a king mimic? Yep. Not surprised, man. What I really wanna do is get her speed up, cause holy hell. Kamehameha. Get wrecked. It's not bad though, 78 damage for that. Technically, oh my god. Other than getting experience for her weapons here, there's no real reason to clear this dungeon floor. I don't think we get anything for clearing floors just for beating them. I'm pretty sure the chests that we get aren't based off killing all the monsters. I, th I don't think. I could be wrong. Did we unlock the map? No. Just the magic stone thingy. Go ahead and give her some tasty water then. I was hoping to see a watering hole around here somewhere because we just rushed to there. Instead of wasting more water. No luck. Well, there's the way down. If we do decide to just leave instead of clearing. I wonder if, like, switching to a fire weapon would actually be better against this dude in particular. I'm not going to, because I just don't care enough, but, like, <laughs> it's a plant. I would think plants would be more susceptible to fire than ice. Although, I guess, technically, like, either one kills plants pretty well in real life, right? It depends on the plant. Upgrade. Yes. And then, do you still need... Still need attack, still need MP, still need holy. Attack, MP, holy. We do have holy, but we're kind of saving that. The attack on that one is maxed out, though. So we don't really need that. More endurance is always nice, but whatever. It's weird that hers doesn't require any of, like, the ability to kill monster type stuff. Those gems at all. 
I wonder if there's just like monsters that are weak against magic and that's it. Or resistant to it, so there's no point in equipping those, or if it's just you know, that just happens to be what her weapons need? I don't know. There doesn't appear to be a water in here, so at least we didn't waste that water. Not that water's like super expensive or anything, but still, it feels bad to waste it if we don't need to, or use it if we don't need to. Like, absolutely have to. It's like when you use a basic potion in a JRPG, you know, and then you instantly find an inn or a rest point or whatever. It just feels like a waste. We're gonna clear the floor. If for nothing else, then extra XP. Also, I don't know if it's gonna stay this way, but we need water a lot more than we need food, it seems like. Although, the ability to quickly heal is more important than to be able to quickly and drink water, I suppose. So if we're in the middle of battle and we get thirsty, it just slowly ticks down our health. Whereas if we're in the middle of battle and we're about to die, being able to just mash square real quick to get a couple heals in would be pretty handy. Emi. Uh, this key. You can't see. I don't think you have a ranged attack, so as long as you don't get too close. You're gonna sit there and struggle to get up this ramp forever anyways, or stairs, whatever it is. Can you like- oh, you're a cursed rose, never mind. You don't move at all. I was gonna say, can we get the next person to also come get stuck on the stairs? But you're already stuck in place, so... Don't worry, game. I'm gonna fix it. I do appreciate the pop-ups, though, because otherwise I would forget. I mean, I did forget a lot whenever we first started playing the game. More times than I care to admit. We must have had, what, like four or five weapons break? Can we not shoot until, like, the last one blows up or something? Because, like, our speed is full, but sometimes it just, like, doesn't let us fire is weird. Getting thirsty. I think we can make it to the next floor before we have to drink again. An ice block. Now see, isn't that just gonna melt before we get to make use of it? I don't know. Thirst reaches limit. Yeah, game, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Now, it does seem like our health goes down the same speed, regardless of if we're on that, like, that floor that makes us thirsty quicker, or we're on a normal floor. So it's just the thirst part. I was worried that it would, like, increase the tick rate or something. Because, like, I mean, I don't know how the damage works, but in my mind, it would be, like, thirst goes down by one point every... 10 seconds normally, right? So then the damage would work at the same rate, like one health point every 10 seconds. That's kind of how it worked in my head. So I was like, okay, well, if they have you get thirsty faster, then they probably just increased how quickly you get thirsty by like making the tick rate lower. That's kind of how it worked in my head. So then if the tick rate for that was, was lower, then the tick rate for taking damage would be lower and yeah. But, no. Thankfully, I suppose, I I'm wrong. Mm, Atla already? Mini thank game. We will graciously accept. A lamp. So happy to have that lamp. I mean, somebody's gonna be happy to have that lamp. I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk shit. Like... Somebody that's going to be, like, their favorite thing in their entire house, you know? It's what they've been waiting their whole life for. A lamp. Well, like, their whole life since being revived by me and being barely thankful for it. 
Oh, wait, no, we're actually trying to upgrade Steve now. Leave Steve equipped. Good timing on the repair powder. We need a repair right now. That's helpful. Kind of. Kind of lets us know where to go. More soap. I don't think we need more soap. Honestly, we should probably go back to town after this floor just to sell some items. We have a lot of stuff on us. Too much. Too many things. Our inventory is going to get full, and then we're not going to be able to pick something up, and then I'm going to be sad. And that's not going to be a fun time. Thirst reach its limit. You'll be fine for a second. I just need to... Where's the freaking crystal? <laughs> there it is. I just need to shoot this thing real quick. I can't see... A rotten fish acquired. Why is it pre-rotten? <laughs> like, that's lame. We can't even use it to, like, open the thing. Unless, does it still work? Even if it's rotten? I'm assuming no. Like, once it's rotten, I'm assuming we can't open the, the back rooms with it. I guess we never tried, but... How much more does Steve need to level up, man? He's got to be getting close at this point. Oh, yeah, no, only four points. So with where we're at, probably like two monsters, maybe one. I just want to see what else we need to apply to upgrade Steve now. Will that do it? That'll do it. Uh, we'll kill you in a second. Hold on, I need to upgrade my weapon. Just give me a second, mister. Make sure you have everything set to customize. Good, and upgrade. Yes. Steve plus three. All right, what else do you need? You still need more MP. You still need more holy, more thunder, and all that other stuff. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, you need more holy, so let's go ahead and give you holy. And then that'll be a synth sphere eventually. Um, but we need to go here, equip the bone slingshot now. And it was what? Thunder was one of them? We don't have any thunder stuff. Maybe we should go buy some. We have a bunch of gold saved up. We could start selling them. What did Steve need? Build up. Holy thunder. So the Skulls, the Knights, and the Mages. Skulls, Knights, and Mages. Which... We don't have any of that stuff. Cool. Okay. Um, or Thunder. So we have literally nothing that we can put on right now to upgrade. So we need to go buy stuff, basically. Oh, yeah. Zhao can't do that. Do I have... Oh, I do not have the right weapon equipped. Not at all. Go back to Steve. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Uh, I think I was too late. Did we get it in time? No, we did not. Oh, well, still switch back to the other one. Don't be stupid. And we should also go ahead and rearrange our weapons just so everything's like in a place that makes more sense. Have them next to each other. And we have the Atla here, so we need to we need to switch characters. Oh, the menuing, man. I mean, granted, part of it's my fault. I could just not do 
the whole weapon switching thing for extra XP on weak weapons, but like, I don't know, it's handy. It makes killing things easier and a hell of a lot quicker. Overall, I think we still save time, like, doing the extra menuing by swapping between the, the good weapons and the bad weapons. Because if we just focused on upgrading the bad weapons, like, the normal way, man, it would take so long to kill anything. Uh, probably about ten times as long. Uh, depending on the speed of the weapon, maybe even longer than that, because Steve's pretty quick shot, the other weapons not so much. Looks like a job for Zhao. A job. A job for Zhao. And then after we leave here, we're definitely going to have to go back to the surface and buy some, some crystals. Some upgrade stuff. Um, I think... I think at some point we unlock somebody that sells like better upgrade stuff. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Oh no, there's like multiple of them here too. Oh, this is, this is not good for me. Okay, hold on. Run away, run away, run away. Jesus, man. These pirate chariot things, whatever the hell they're called, they suck. They really, really suck. Cheese, where's the cheese? Eat some cheese, and then equip the cheese. Okay. At least if they're all like in front of me, and if I could freaking see, then I might be able to, you know, see when they're going to attack and murder them. Can we kill the captain real quick? Run. Okay, well, we got the XP for the wrong weapon, but whatever. It was worth it to not die. Switch back. And just one left. We shouldn't have too much trouble with one, hopefully. Oh, that was like rapid fire. I didn't even know you could do that. My God, dude, screw those dudes. <laughs> they seriously suck. Holy hell. Okay, there's a item down here that dropped. Probably the hook, yes. And then open the Atla. Huh. That room sucked. Hopefully we don't come across too many more of those. A push cart. Now this is like the merchant town, so maybe this is where we... Oh, it's you. Big or little, which one do we want? I have no idea, man. I don't remember what we picked last time, and I still don't know if it persists, the whole like theory that people have, if that persists between saves and reloads. Big? You got it, my guy. We taking the big dude. If it sucks, it's your fault. Hey! No, okay. It's actually a weapon. Steel hammer. I don't know if that's a good weapon, but it's a weapon. I'm assuming it's for this dude, whose name I always forget. 2540... Okay, so not as good as Big Buck's hammer. The one that we can stroke to get rich. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but better than our tuna? Yeah, better than our frozen tuna, though, it looks like. What do you need to upgrade? So you have two upgrade paths, which probably means you're not a unique. I mean, it doesn't always mean that. I don't know. I don't remember his weapons, what the upgrade paths are. I did cheat a little bit and look up, like, the different weapon upgrade paths. But I don't remember seeing Big Buck's hammer in the list anywhere. I'm gonna have to look it up before I try to upgrade any of his stuff, but right now we're not focused on him at all. Although the free money from... 
from... I'm assuming by stroking it, it means just using it. <laughs> Not that we have to actually, like, sit there and stroke the hammer. Uh, wink. But... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we need money that bad right now. Switch Zhao. Switch weapons. Bone slingshot. Okay. Okay, so the bone slingshot can be upgraded, but do we want to though? I guess what we could do, we can take off the two holies from here. Give them to the bone slingshot. Although we only get 60% when we do it that way. I wish we knew what the final amount we needed of everything was, because that would that would be really handy. We need more MP. We don't have any more MP stuff. Did we... What did we give her? Did we give her, like, MP stuff? No, we gave her attack stuff. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do the upgrade. Screw it. It's probably not the right move, but I don't care. Go ahead and give you two holy. Takes you up to six. And then... I don't know, man. Plant Buster. Do you have anything? Oh, you have, by default, 12 of the undead thing. That's not bad. That's something. At least 60% of that. That'd be like 7. That could, But that'll get applied to the dude. Whenever we eventually upgrade you. Or, like, turn you into a synth sphere, rather. But okay, go ahead, upgrade that, confirm. And then we have nothing else to give you right now, but after this dungeon we will. And then instantly it almost breaks because of a mean magic pad. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is repair powder? And it's a mimic. So, uh, nope. Switch. Good weapon, please. Good miss. Oh my god, dude. I hate the mimics. They're annoying to fight with her. Because her bullets are small and it actually matters in this game. It's not hit scanned. <laughs> It'd be a really weird game to have hit scanned, honestly, but... If I have clear line of sight, I just want to hit the dude. Tower third floor? It's a big tower. To have three floors? That's like a skyscraper around here. I mean, I guess the windmill that we found was pretty big. Oh my god, the rest of our characters are so weak now compared to compared to her. Like, yeah, very weak. We just got really lucky with the Steve weapon that we found. Steve is just so good, man. It's hard to beat. I mean, we have also applied, like, all of our major upgrades to Steve. That definitely helps as well. We probably should have had one or two more major upgrades by this point in the game as well. But, um, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I kind of had a bunch of things break on me. Because I'm dumb. Too worried about conserving stuff to actually repair things on time. And like, repair powder did, at one point, was pretty hard to come by, right? We were pretty, pretty short on it. Between not having enough weapons to like, cycle through in the dungeons, as well as just being pretty poor. Like, we did need to conserve a little bit, but I don't know, man. We we definitely overdid it a bit. Also, this was the right one that I went to the first time. And then I was stupid as hell and turned around for no reason. Hook. Hook. And... 
And we are going to leave the dungeon, see if we can buy some upgrades. Oh, fell. Can also just find them sometimes in these chests. Another fruit of Eden. Uh, give it to... I guess Zhao. Zhao's who we use the most. Again, ranged characters don't seem to need as much as, you know, melee characters for pretty obvious reasons, I feel. But still, not having her die instantly is nice. No other chests? No. Into the shop. Okay. I will sell you two bars of soap. Two antidotes. I think we're just going to keep three of all the basic stuff. We'll sell you these gems because we never use them anyways. The poison apple. We'll keep the stand-in and escape powder. That stuff's handy. Sell you the fish bait and the rotten fish that aren't worth anything. And the goo amulet. You don't sell any upgrades. Yeah, no upgrades at all. Okay, so we're leaving you. I know the very first shop sells upgrades. But they're just like the super basic ones. So I'm hoping that there's somewhere better to buy them at. I don't remember if anybody in Queens did. The gem dude sold some, didn't he? Jack? And then what do we have that we can put down? Giorama menu, config. We have the cathedral. Uh, I don't feel like the cathedral's really gonna be a shop of any sort. But we'll put it down. We have anything else to put down? Susie's store. A whole new store. Perfect. Um, can we like rotate you or anything here? I'm gonna put you over here in hopes that we can put another store down or something over here. And let's focus on the store first. Because stores are, you know, what I'm looking for. Is this Susie? No. From the fruit store? There's a fruit store? I'm assuming this isn't you. No, okay. So we can't even do anything at the store yet. That sucks. What about here? Handsome boy with a secret. So nope. Can't do anything here yet either because we don't have the people. Doesn't look like we have anything for either one of these things. Lame. Okay. So we have the fish store, which isn't going to sell anything, I don't believe. That's Rudy. So we can go check Jax, the weapon merchant. I don't remember him selling any gems, but maybe. And then we'll check Joker. Oh, hi. Bomb. Anything in your bedroom I can steal? No. What do you have? Yeah, you have no upgrades things at all. So, goodbye. And then Joker. Is there anything on your roof? Any new chest? A couple of them. Stone and wind. Neither of which I think helps us at all. Yeah, stone is a throwing thing, and then we don't need wind for upgrades. Oh, another chest. Fish candy. Fish candy is defense for Zhao. Right? Not you. Zhao. Yeah! More defense better. I'm wondering what the favorite food of Ruby's gonna be. The, uh, the genie. Another anti amulet More sellables, at least. Uh, sell the stone, too. It's only two. But, like, whatever. Oh, and we can sell that. The key. 
Don't really need them. All right, Mage Slayer, Sea Killer, Thunder Wind Holy, Fire Ice. I don't remember what we need though, so. We need MP. We do need Thunder. We could buy a couple Thunder ones. And we do need Mage Slayer. So we can buy at least a couple of each of these. Oh, uh, I would really like to buy one more if you don't mind. Um, and then, nah, screw it, sell the other Endurance one. And then another Mage Slayer. So that'll give us a full upgrade of Mage Slayer, or like a full set of three for both. I don't think we ever got the storage person for this town, so we're going to have to go back to a different town. Grab some more stuff. Get some more gold bullion and whatnot. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's save before I forget. The only annoying part is, is I'm pretty sure there is a better shop to buy stuff from for the upgrades at some point, but... I don't remember who's who. Is Brown Boo the one that we're looking for the thing from? The the moonstone crystal, whatever. I think so. Yes. Do you guys sell anything? Are there shops here? Does it say like when we get to the door what it is? No. I couldn't remember if it did or not. That would have been too handy. Uh, Theo. Nope. You just taught us how to get to Queens. And then, how about you? Do you do stuff or things? Probably not. Oh, my controller died. I thought the game fucking broke, dude. Hold on, I gotta grab my charger real quick. It's just right here, thankfully. Kappa, hello, sir. I realize there's no good way for them to do it with just like a plug and play adapter to use, you know, PS4 controllers on the PS2. But God, would it be handy if there was some sort of pop-up to be like, hey, your controller's dying. Or I guess, like, even if the controller just, like... Of course, to build up to it, you must have a sort of... Oh, whatever. I don't know. Um, the controller could, like, blink red or something, which maybe it does. I don't spend much time looking at the light on the controller. So it could be blinking and I just completely miss it. That's a That's a real possibility. Do we go up here yet? I don't think so. I don't think there's any shops in this town. I think we're probably wasting our time, but... My luck, this would be the shop that I'm searching for, and I just don't see it because I didn't check. So I feel like I have to. It's a big freaking ladder, dude. Do you sell? No. Look like there's even chests here. Other than coming here for a quest, is there any point in this this area? I think we're just gonna leave. It's probably fine. Probably. I'm getting like a pimp or something right here, dude. Every time my face moves, it hurts. I need to put some stuff on it. Uh, yeah, okay, we're just gonna leave. I don't think there's anything here. Wise Owl Forest. Nope, that's the dungeon. That's not the actual town. That was dumb. Can we just, like, leave, or once we come here, are we forced to do a floor? I guess if we just go to, like, a boss floor, then it should just be free to leave.
Yeah, should be, right? Leave dungeon? No sign of monsters, yeah. Okay. That works. And it'll just take us to the town that we, I was trying to get to. But, you know, was stupid and clicked on the wrong thing. Now, there's only one shop here, right? This mushroom house doesn't sell anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just you. The wise owl shop. Yeah. Uh, oh, we need to go into walking mode. We can't just escape. There's probably more chests around here for us to find now, since we have completed some stuff. Unless that only updates, like, the current town, but I think it updates all of them. I could be very, very wrong on that, though. It's just, uh... Because it's, like, very possible that I've just missed stuff as time went on. So you only sell one upgrade thing. It's the plant buster, which I don't need the plant one. I'm pretty sure. Also, I was reorganized things in a bad way. There we go. How's stream been? Good so far, man. We're making some progress, um, which is nice. I really want to get through this game eventually. I'm enjoying it, but it's like... There's just some small quality of life things that are kind of annoying to me. Like, I really wish there was... When you're exploring the dungeons, specifically, I wish there was an auto-switch for characters whenever you interact with things. Um, a quick change, like weapon change key, would be really nice. Sure, this is a long game. It's, I want to say, around... 30 hours, 40 hours, something like that. It's not a short game, but I don't think it's a super long game. Okay, Odd Gaffer, what do you have? I know you sell some stuff. Attack Endurance, the basic crystals, and Dragon Slayer. So nobody sells, other than Mage Slayer, nobody sells the one that we really need. But we bought enough for two upgrades. So we're good for now, at least. We can go back down into the, the dungeon over here, the shipwreck. I don't think there was anything else we need to buy. Some basic water wouldn't have been a terrible idea to pick up, but it's not that big of a deal either. But you're 14. So we should be getting close to the end of this dungeon, I'm, I think. I guess basic bread or something wouldn't have been a terrible idea either, but... But we can always use cheese. Cheese is a better food anyways. <laughs> That's the way down, okay. Apparently there's also a monster on the other side of that wall. Enemy of some sort. I'm just gonna keep exploring to the right, I think. Till we find a map or something. What are you? You're new. Auntie Medu? We're using the wrong weapon. Oh, and Sam's back. Hi, Sam. So do you, like, cast stone on us or something? Old lady power is useless? Is that what Steve just said? What the hell? Oh, we should probably equip our upgrades, too, before I forget. Our, uh, our stones that we just bought. That way we don't accidentally, like, upgrade or something and not apply them. Uh, Mage Slayer? Or Thunder? Let's do Mage Slayer. For the first upgrade. So I think, like, I th yeah, you already had some mage slang stuff anyways. And since we only keep 60% of the upgrades, the having more is, like, better. Come on, stop blocking, you dick. And then switch back. Nope, you... Nope. 
and back again. I like fighting the Sams, man. Other than the fact that they block, they go down so easy because they're like weak to fire. And Steve, which is by far our most powerful weapon, has the fire attribute added on top of it, and it's just mm, it's perfect. We got another floor for this tower that we know nothing of. I feel like it's going to be the cathedral that needs the towers, right? That would make sense to me, at least. I have no idea if it's right, but like, I don't know. Cathedral, towers, they just seem to go together. Oh. That's annoying and wrong weapon. Is it possible to like shoot through? Like if we shot just at the right time, could we make it around that, that fan that they're spinning around, I wonder? Or are we just wasting ammo? trying to shoot when the guard's not up. Or when the guard's not down, rather. That hurt. And poisoned. Hey, we finally found the uh, creature in this dungeon that can poison. I've been wondering if that was a thing. Okay, we definitely want to eat, too, because that did over half health to us. You are super annoying, you know that? Mask of Prana? Come on, dude. I don't think it's possible to shoot through the, the fan. <laughs> Either that or we're getting like super unlucky. Come on. There we go, thank God, okay. Switch to you, repair you. And we get 15 gold for all that trouble, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank God, dude. What would we do without that 15 gold? Ooh, free water refill and health. If I had seen that a moment ago, we could have uh, used that instead of the cheese, but oh well. It's just cheese, man. We have money. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. So I'm hoping to get a map and or the magic stone thingy. What are you? Sam? Okay. Sam's fine. I like fighting Sam. We can we can take on Sam all day. Just please no more masks of prana. I assume it's probably better to fight the mask of prana with like one of the other characters, maybe, but like, I don't know, man. I don't like the other characters. <laughs> Yeah, upgrade. And then give you the three thunderstones. This weapon's upgrading pretty quick. It's going to be a real pain finding more things to slot into it. Hi, there's another one. Oh, I never checked. Did our other ice block, like, melt? Yeah, okay, it did. So there... Yeah, the fish thing sucks, man. You have to have an ice block to keep the fish good. So it doesn't spoil. But the ice is also, like... I mean, it doesn't spoil, but it melts over time. And it doesn't seem like having multiple ice does anything. Uh, was it too late to switch? It's probably too late to switch for the experience. So we finally get the items that we need to get to the back room, and they keep spoiling on us. It's just some poor luck. There's the map. 
Uh, can't open this with you. Have to switch back to main guy. Another sunshade. When you live in the desert, I guess sunshades are like <laughs> a hot commodity, man. Everybody needs one of them around. Fair. Should we? Yes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go up here and fight the rest of these people, but it just feels wrong to not completely clear the floor. And then to top it off, like, we could, we probably won't, but we could find a big chest and get a, get a weapon. Which we're definitely going to need more than spheres to get Super Steve a thing here. More chests, better chests, until it's another King Mimic or the Joker thing, whatever he is. Jester? I think he's a Jester. More stand-in powder. We might end up having to sell some of our powders, man. We've been getting a lot of them. Oh, no, it's another mask. Okay, we'll take out Steve real quick. Or Steve, Sam, whatever. Get out. Oh, my God. Stop blocking, dick. Get you taken care of, and now you. That was the wrong weapon. We get a hit in, and it's with the weak freaking weapon, man. Basically didn't do anything. When I came around, I was on the ground by the ocean. To build up to the bandit slingshot, a fish and a witch will do. A dagger? Take the dagger from my heart? What? I get the, the bandit thing. It's telling us, like, that applying those attributes to the, to the thingy. Oh, no, it already did the drop. We're not going to get the XP for it. Um, to, to whatever weapon, basic weapon we can get the bandit slingshot whenever we upgrade, but what was the ocean floor thing about? And King Mimic caught it. Any drops for us at least, King Mimic? 15 gold. And wasted some ammo. Good job. Bomb nuts! Those are actually pretty good. I'm excited for the bomb nuts. Whenever we eventually get to the boss of this area, that should come in handy. Watch them be, like, immune to bombs, man. I'm saving, like, half my inventory space just for bombs. Oh, and then we're gonna find the stupid thing and not even be able to use them. It's also very rude how many treasure chest keys the game has decided to start giving us, considering the fact that we haven't had a normal treasure chest... Well, we've been playing for a little over two hours and haven't had any yet today. <laughs> like, the treasure chest keys are more common now than the actual big treasure chests are. The thing that we need them for. We have to clear this last room because we need the Atla. Can't leave any of the Atla behind. I don't even know if it's possible to move on from a town until you do all of the Atla stuff. I don't think it is. I think you have to complete the town to move on. Is that another Auntie Medu? Yes, dude. Give me all of these dudes. These dudes and Sam's. I'm down for them. Anything but the masks, and preferably no more of the, the pirate, whatever they were called, chariots. Pirate chariots. Ah, oh, we missed. Well, I thought we'd be able to clear a couple of floors with the... The two... Uh, the stuff we bought to be able to do two upgrades, but... 
Not really, man. We're getting more experience than I thought we would. We might have to go sell some gold bullion and then buy more more stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wrong person. There's another big chest back there. Can it be an actual chest this time? Nope, it's a jester. Okay, well, we selected large last time, so according to the internet, we should select small this time. We got a steel slingshot. It's not a good weapon, but it's another weapon, at least, so we can, like, upgrade it, make a synth sphere out of it, and give it to Steve. So not gonna be mad about that. And, I mean, it's better than the bone slingshot, technically. At least, like... Okay, I say that, but with the attributes we need, not really, huh? Yeah, because we... Do we need any metal dudes? We might need metal dudes. But we need Mage Slayer, Anti-Undead, Holy, and Thunder, I think. It might be better, because you can cross things, so it might be better to, like, take one of these weapons and try to build it up. Oh, no, we have to go to the customized screen. Nah, I guess not. Like, nobody really has the stuff that we need just by default. I mean, you have 15 anti-undead. That's something. What about the bone rapier? Nope. Sandbreaker? I wonder if things can have... You have anti-metal and anti-mage. I wonder if things can have two special attributes. It's like, we have the, the thief one right now, right? But I wonder, like, can you have thief and big bucks on the same thing? Oh, you had one more weapon. Steel hammer. Everybody has, like, anti-metal or anti-armor, whatever the hell it is. Nobody has any of the other stuff that we need. Do we even need the anti-armor thing? I can't actually remember. Build up. We need MP, Holy Thunder. Yeah, we do need the metal dudes. Hmm. All I can really hope is that we find a merchant that's, like, better for us. That sells, that sells things that will actually give us more than, like, one point each. Because I really want to upgrade Steve. I'm pretty sure, from playing around with it a little bit, that you can upgrade weapons endlessly. Or at least for a long time. It's just the amount of experience points that it ends up costing becomes a little bit prohibitive after a while. Which means if we find any more of those things that just instantly let us upgrade, we should probably keep them. I guess we have to leave the dungeon temporarily again. Build up the town a bit more and then do more upgrades. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, queens. Or buy things for more upgrades. There's what, two towns left, I believe? So if it's not in the merchant town, hopefully it's in the next town. The merchant that... It, I just... <clears throat> I don't know, like, myself, but I remember reading somewhere that there there's a merchant where you can buy good upgrade items. Oh, wrong button. Not that. We need to go here to this menu. Menu, assembly... Town's famous fortune teller. Well, you're not a little eccentric girl, are you? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. He's got a woman from the fruit store. Are you... Nope, okay. Well, I guess we can't actually do any upgrades right now. Oops, we don't have a handsome boy with a secret. Or not upgrades, but like, yeah, you know. Place on top of a house, a roof or something, and a lamp. We don't have either one of those either. The game is really screwing us with the drops that we're getting here. 
and just go back to walking mode. Where was it? I saw a chest somewhere. Was it here? Sometimes the chests can have good upgrade items in them. It's random. Well, not truly random. I guess if you knew what was in it ahead of time, then you could go specifically wherever. But, like, for me, who has no idea what you get from any of the chests, it's random. There's one over there in that corner. But if we're lucky, it'll be something good. Like, grass cake. Not what I was expecting. What the hell is a grass cake? Goro's favorite. Really? Grass cake, dude? Okay, well, <laughs> there you go, I guess. I shouldn't hate. I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's a weird choice of favorite food, but to each their own. Mm. What did you sell for upgrades? I don't remember who sold the best upgrade stuff. I feel like we should keep focusing on holy. I'm just worried that we're going to get like too much holy and then be wasting stuff. Was it you? Yeah, you sell holy. Okay. Let me sell you some stuff here. What do we have? We have a key. I need three. So we need 900 bucks. 629. Hmm. I really don't want to sell the bombs. We shouldn't need this much stand-in powder. It doesn't sell for anything, though. Shoot. How much does the water sell for? 30? We're gonna have to go get some gold bullion. I was hoping we could avoid it, but... We don't have anything else to sell other than weapons, though, and I don't want to sell my weapons. How much is, like... 125. Yeah, they're not even worth that much money in the first place. That one's literally only worth one? Huh. Weird. Okay. Alright, yep. We're leaving. We'll come back. Sure, go outside. I, don't, <laughs> I didn't realize there was a button to teleport outside. I just wasn't thinking. Go to other area. That's the button that I wanted. I know there's a... A chest person in the... Whatever it's called. The Matataki village or whatever. But I can't remember who they are. Whereas this one, I know exactly where to go. So I'm just going to go here. Go over to Grandma's house. And I guess we could check this shop, too. To see what he sells. Hello! Lassie Aless? <laughs> Sorry, I probably butchered that, but hello, man. Welcome. You, hag. Give me some gold bullion, please. And I guess we can sell this rotten fish, because it turns out it's useless. Oh, and I didn't realize we had a gourd in here. We can take that, too. We'll take a couple of those. Gold bullions. Okay, sort, sort. And go sell. What does the old hag said? Odd gaffer. My bad. You. What do you sell? Again... Okay, you also sell holy, so I guess we could just buy it from here. Holy and Mage Slayer are the two that we're looking for. Sell, sell, sell. Is there like... We'll buy six. That's enough for two more upgrades. And then we just have to be careful not to die, because we're going to lose a bunch of money if we do.
but like we have revival powder we have stand in powder we should be fine i don't think we're gonna just randomly die and lose most of our money oh here we go finally a floor with some real atlan man Switch back to Zhao, please. Always Zhao. Oh, and that's an upgrade. Good timing, huh? I guess it's a good thing we left and got the got the stuff. I think you already have some things equipped though, right? Yeah. So upgrade now. And then customize you with some holy. So what does that take you up to? 15 holy. Mm, we probably should have bought like Mage Slayer or Thunder. Of course, I don't know how much we need for Steve. It'd be really nice if it told us. Oh, and it's another one of the masks. I hate the stupid masks, dude. Oh, you can pass through walls? Or was that just a glitch? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Went down quickly that time. Okay, that should be enough time for the experience. Swap on back, and then you're easy to kill. Ice block again. <laughs> so happy to have the ice block, dude. Oh, nice. Magic crystal right off the bat. We all And the map. Hell yeah. I mean, we always fully explore the dungeons anyways, but it's still nice to know what we're getting into before we go somewhere. Road, okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for from the Atla, but maybe we can finish the road in the one section that we started now. We'll do this side first. Give us a better chance of getting the key before we get to that door. Oh, wrong weapon. Thank you for the rotten fish. The most useful of weapon or items. Oh, come on. Old lady power is endless. That's... Okay. That's interesting, Steve. Thank you for your observation, as always. Is she really that old? Is that is that why she's called Auntie? Auntie? Whatever? Is she like an old lady Medusa? hit the pad first let's hit the pad oh damn it there's another mask monsters pumped with energy that's not what we wanted that's not what we wanted at all oh god okay do not get hit and we have a couple things stamina drinks let's take one for ourselves so that we can kill these things a little more easily we don't want to risk dying dying Oh, you know what? It's fine. I'm keeping the experience for myself right now. Specifically, this is the one that I'm worried about. No? Okay. Because I feel like we'd probably die in one hit with it being pumped up. So the quicker we can kill it, the better. Potato cake. That's decent money.
Elena's store. Do we have her yet? Oh, wait, it's another store, too. Although it's a fruit store. Would a fruit store carry upgrade items? Uh, I don't know. I feel like no, but Lord knows I've been wrong before, so who knows, I guess. <laughs> Wait, did our stamina potion run out? I guess maybe like whenever we switched characters, they just run out then. That's lame. It looks like they're not pumped up anymore either though, so that's fair. And then a bunch of Atla to pick up. Can we get... The Cathedral Boy... The Cathedral Boy is probably... How we leave this area? Or like get to the final... To the final boss? And it just seems like the most intricate... Building. And it seems like those are usually the ones that let us get to the end of the dungeon. Ooh, it could be Phil. Phil might be the dude we're looking for. And then whatever else we need for the fruit stall would be nice, just to see what all she sells. What kind of fruit? Other than the fruit of Eden, the only other fruit we found is what? Apples? Poisonous apples? Hmm. I feel like the fruit stall might not be the most useful of things. More stores, more better, regardless. Imagine if they, like, made that into a QTE. The jumping across the gaps there. You screw it up and you just die. Wait, why are you pumped up? Oh, wait. Now you're not pumped up. I'm confused. Come on, stop spinning your stupid fan around and just... I can't see! This camera- Ah, oh, the, oh, the camera's terrible! Shoot her in the back. Thank God, dude. Oh, that should be another upgrade. Let's go. We have you customized, we do. Upgrade, yes. So one more before we can turn you into a Synth Sphere. Then I guess we're doing another Holy Upgrade because that's what I bought. And then we need to focus on Steve again. Oh, I forgot to change weapons back, didn't I? I did, of course. Kill the Medusa first, just because she's easier to kill. Oh, what? No, I didn't want to interact with that. Damn you, game. Medusa, please. Steve has taken extreme damage. He's fine. He has all the endurance in the world. Equip that for the experience points. Oh, you're not dead. Well, now you are. That's the first time I think we've ever killed an enemy with that weapon. Like, actually killed one using it. Nice. We're getting a lot of experience from killing these dudes now, at least, though. Kind of a double-edged sword, right? It means that we get to upgrade our weapons faster, but it also means that we're going through both the items and the weapons themselves a lot faster. Which, if we don't find a decent shop to buy upgrades uh, items from eventually, 
then that's going to become a problem. Plus, I mean, we're having to dip into our stores of money, too, which sucks. <laughs> like, it's, it's costing us some money, that's for sure. There's not a whole lot we've been needing to use money for at this point, so it's probably not the worst thing in the world to be losing some. And we can always grind money from early dungeons, just trying to get bait, since bait sells for, like, a surprising amount of money. Sign. That's probably for the shop. I'm worried... Basker's store. Huh. I'm worried that, like, we're gonna need three fruit stalls. The same way that we needed three fish stalls for the other one. Because I think we've only got our cart stall, whatever. I think we've only gotten one fruit cart so far. So even if we do get the right person, we might not have everything we need to actually open the shop yet. Oh, there's the hook. I didn't even realize we hadn't gotten the hook yet. And you're dead. Jeej to you, old lady Medusa. And you got nothing for me. Do we go back topside and like build things? I think we're just gonna go ahead and do the next floor maybe? Yeah, any like, if we run out of upgrades for the one thing, we can just leave the experience on Steve for a bit. Cause I mean, we, we're gonna have to upgrade him eventually. So getting the experience on him is not bad. I'm also going to get the free water refill real quick. It's not that far out of the way. And that one stupid floor where our water, like, fell super quickly. Really drained the hell out of our supplies. That and the fact that there was just a lot of floors that we got without any watering holes at all. That definitely hurt a bit as well. Do we have any more cheese? I was just thinking. No. Okay. That's fine. I guess, do throbbing cherries count as fruit? I guess that's another fruit that we could potentially be buying from that shop. Another one that we don't really use, granted, but it's something. Just trying to think of like what kind of fruit they would be selling, man. What do we have? We do not have Steve equipped. Give me Steve or give me death or whatever they said. It'd be nice if it told us how many Atla was on the floor, like it does whenever we're on the normal screen. You're not Steve. Like where you get to pick which dungeon floor you go to. Or which dungeon floor. Endurance plus one. I mean, it's an upgrade item at least. It's not... Oh, there's two of you dudes. It's not one that we particularly need, but still... I really don't like the thought of fighting two of you dudes together. Are you dead? You're not dead. Ah, I just wanted the drop! Switch back. Back to Steve. camera is so rough, man. Get another... Mm. There we go. They deaded. Mimic? No mimic. 
another Antigu amulet. We've been getting a bunch of those. Is that like a thing? <laughs> Do you get good on this floor? I don't, I feel like, I'm pretty sure we've only been good once the whole time that I've been playing the game, man. So like, <laughs> the fact that there's so many Antigu amulets the game wants to give us is just weird. Maybe it's the next zone after this one. Oh, a normal chest? Pakliku? I'm assuming that's for the genie. Oh, that's much better than what we have. See, and if we need MP, the genie seems to be the way to go about it. So it might be worth... Oh, and a bunch of holy on you too. It might be worth using the genie, getting one of their weapons up to the point to where we can turn them into a synth sphere, and then applying that to Steve, just for the MP boost. Um, you can do that. You can take like weapons from one person or synth spheres from one person and apply them to another person's weapons. I just don't want to like waste a weapon. So, Ruby. Okay, so this is a special weapon. Or, I mean, it is a special weapon, but it's not like... You can use upgrade other weapons to the same thing. Doesn't look like she has any weapons that are actually, like, exclusive. Have exclusive lines. Like how S Steve can only... Steve's the only thing that can upgrade to Super Steve, for example. She doesn't seem to have anything like that. Neither does Goro. What do we have? Where's the one that we have for him? Oh, there it is. Big bucks. Big Bucks is actually considered a basic weapon. So he goes to Tall Hammer and Inferno. Anything can go to either one. So yeah, I think... After we're done... With... I'm probably going to forget this by next week is the problem. But after we're done with the, the current one that we're upgrading, the bone or steel slingshot, whatever it is, bone slingshot here, if we still need MP, I think we're going to switch to using Pockal... Not Pockal, the, the platinum ring on the other girl, on Ruby. Try to get that upgraded to the point to where we can turn it into a synth sphere. And then use that synth sphere to get our MP up quick. Oh, wrong weapon. Definitely wrong weapon. And that's another upgrade for you already. Oh, wait. Was it not? Oh, no. He only gave us six. Okay, never mind. I lied. I mean, he is a, a very easy enemy compared to most of the people that we're fighting down here, so I'm not that surprised. But I expected to get, like, more from him. Do you like the music in this game? The music is really good. I agree. It's very, very good. There's a lot to like about the game, honestly. It's just, like, it's a bit of a slow game. There's that. Damn it. And uh, there's, oh, oh no, okay. And there's definitely some big quality of life improvements they could have made to the game. But uh, I guess that just wasn't like the thing on their mind, you know? Okay, so that should be enough to get you to the synth sphere stage now. So status break you. Now we just need to upgrade Steve. to see if we need more MP than 25 or not. Because if we don't need more than 25 MP, then there's no point. 
of doing the, the ruby upgrade path. We need... What else do you need for your build-up? Holy thunder. So... Mage... Knight undead. Mage, knight, undead. I don't think we have any of those. Okay, so we don't actually want to upgrade you yet. Until we find some more of that stuff. I mean, I hate to do it, but we could switch to, like, Goro. Because his weapon has a bunch of knight smashing points, doesn't it? I mean, 10. I guess it's not that many. Was it... Was it one of these ones that had a bunch? You have the undead. Ooh. That one has none. Damn it, dude. I keep hitting R1 to go to the next one. And I don't want to use the Sandbreaker, just because I don't know how those things stack. You do have 10 as well. Um... I mean, we can try, Goro. It's just, I suck at melee in this game. We'll equip it. Oh, wait. We need him. That's the whole reason we went into the menu to begin with. Open the Atla. Oh, Basker. Well, that'll be nice. Basker for Bas Basker's store. I doubt it, but this could be the last floor. With the way they're dumping so many Atla on us the past couple of floors, I'm almost... Oh. Miss a path up here. I'm almost wondering if that is the case, but probably not... Oh, shoot, we need Zhao back. Do we have the right weapon equipped? Is that Steve? I can't tell from the little picture. No, it's the super sling, or the, the broken slingshot. Okay, yeah, no, that definitely wasn't Steve. Now that I see what the picture looks like, it's pretty obvious that wasn't Steve. Oh, I'm so used to, like, switching weapons. I wanted to automatically switch to the next weapon for experience. Oh, okay. Take thy dagger from my heart. Is there a dagger in Steve's heart? Or is he, like, talking for those weird witch ladies? The floating heads. Do they have daggers in their hearts? I never noticed any, at least. Hmm, I feel like we should probably... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I feel like we should probably do the other path first. Because I thought this one was going to loop around down to the bottom right, and this one was just going to end right here. But nope. What we could do, probably off stream if I get the hanker in to play like a PS2 game, or just like zone out and grind while I do something else. I'm worried about going over this. Okay, that's fine. Weapon HP increased. I was worried it was going to like get rid of our ABS. Anyways, we, I could go back to like an easier dungeon and grind some levels on one of the, the basic weapons from Goro or... Probably Goro. I'm more willing to give up one of his weapons than I am the main character's weapons. The only thing that's going to suck is if we, like, spend all this time leveling up Zhao, and then we get to the end of the game or something, and Zhao's not able to fight the final boss. <laughs> that's going to suck. So we should probably, after... After we, um get Zhao up to Super Steve, we should probably go back to focusing on the main character's weapon a bit. 
even if we're not using him in particular, upgrading his weapons to something decent would still be a good idea. Oh, we're about to get shot. Run. I wonder... That's something I haven't tried before. Can we level up other people's weapons using the same cheese that we use to level up Zhao's weapons? Can we basically kill an enemy and then switch characters and get weapon HP? Or not weapon HP, but, you know, experience. So if we look at Goro's Steel Hammer, it's at zero. Perfect. Oh, you bastard. There's multiple. Okay. I hate when there's multiple pirate dudes. They hit and they hit hard. Okay, we don't have that many healing items. So let's, like, wait for a second here. Okay. So now if we switch allies to Goro, he just died. Did we get the experience on Goro? No. We did not. Okay, so that doesn't work. Sw switching allies doesn't work. Just switching weapons works. Honestly, neither one I feel like should work. So I'm not even like mad about it. But man, would that have been handy if it worked that way. One more aloe for this floor. More road. Damn, dude. I was hoping, honestly, for more trees. I want to put trees around the cathedral that we got. I think that would be cool. I don't know what they want, but I like the way that it looks. At least in my head, I like the way it looks. So, so that's what I want to do. buy some stuff so we are gonna leave again after this floor i hate leaving after basically every floor uh but before we upgrade super steve or steve here we need to get some more power-up items for him maybe a holy and i don't know something else Oh, I forgot that we had another gourd. We need to give that to Ruby. Everybody else is already like, yeah, super high up there. <clears throat> Not max. I don't even know if there is a max or if you can just keep flying gourds forever. That would potentially be a fun like challenge run for the game. If I ever wanted to do that sort of thing. I don't know if I would, but to like only use one character, probably the main character since he's the first one you unlock. On the one hand, it means you could give him like all of the fruit of Eden, all of the gourds, all of that sort of stuff, which would make him much more powerful than he is by, like, default when you're spreading everything out. But also, some characters like Zhao are just better, in my opinion, so, like, I don't know. We have so many bombs whenever we get to this boss, dude. Uh, you know, let's run over there in case there's any more chests that have spawned that we've missed. I don't know if they spawn out here or not. I would assume so. Okay, we can't walk on this. There's one there, so yes, they definitely do. Fluffy Donut, that's a defense increase for somebody. Can't walk up the ship. Lame. Can't remember, I think it's for us. It's a defense increase. A gourd, that's another water increase. Should 
Scream's favorite, yep. More defense. Can't really be upset about more defense. Ruby, you get that. Oh, there's more stairs up? Oh, that's right. I forgot there's like two roads going down the center of this town. On like each side of a, a river. I'm assuming it's a river. Could be like the sewers, I guess. I don't know. I'm also going to run around the town just a little bit here. So we don't really spend any time in the center area. And that looks like a chest down there. So instead of just teleporting, yeah, I'm going to pick that dude up at least. I'm not going to run around the whole town yet, but fish candy. That's another upgrade for Zhao. To 32. So 38, 32, 19. Goro really needs some, some defense upgrades. Holy hell, man. He's getting shafted here. Need some more grass cake. Such a weird favorite food. Okay, Georama menu. What do we still have to unlock? One more thing. So there's at least one more floor. Leaning tower, danger, do not enter. Wholesale store for merchants. And the cathedral. And Lana store for fruit. And then Susie's store, which sells water. So we're kind of out of room. We can put one more store over here. But I kind of feel like we should put the tower over here. Oh, it won't fit. Okay, well, you know what? Move and remove. We're moving this stall over to here then. And we're putting the leaning tower over here. We'll put it on... I think we put the cathedral on the inside edge. So we'll put you on the inside edge too. And then if we do ever get trees, we'll put trees along up each side of it. And then what else do we have to place? Susie's store is already done. Lana's store, Lana, whatever. So that's the entrance. I feel like... I feel like a road should come through right there. I don't know how many more buildings we have to place. Cathedral's done. Basker store. Can you go, like, in the middle? You can, but I'd rather have it be, like, another stall if it if if we unlock another stall. There's also all this space down here. I feel like there's just a lot of extra space in this one. Guess you can go here. And then the road. We started this one and never finished it, so let's finish you. And then, do we do the same thing here? Sure. Why not? At least as much as we can. We haven't gotten any more trees, right? No. Alright. What kind of upgrades do we have? Let's start... Little Eccentric Girl. Do we have a Little Eccentric Gill? Gill? Girl? We... Do not... Okay, but we do have Phil for the Cathedral. We have this for the Cathedral. Oh, never mind. Oh, it must be one of, like, the... Whatchamacallits? The, like, uh, burning bowls of fire. <laughs> I can't I can't think. But that must be what he wants. Then Lena's store. We do have you. You do want more than one cart. I'm assuming three carts, because that's what the fish person wanted. So we can't finish your store yet either. Cathedral can't do shit with. Basker. We do have Basker. You want this. And a sign. And... Sunshade? Yes. A shaft sticking out of the roof. A chimney? And then something that we don't know what it is yet. I'll have to talk to you to figure that out.
Noodle, thank you for five more bits. Appreciate you. Are you going to be in your shop, Mr. Basker? Gourds. Premium chicken. That's a health refill. Antifreeze. Mm. Not from here, but it's okay. I don't like snooping around. I'm Basker. I'm a trader. Good to meet you. Well, you're already here. Try to enjoy queens as much as possible. What do you want for your place? Second floor. I don't think we have anything to give you a second floor. Oh wait, yeah, no, never mind, we do. Sick, okay, that's another store. Do you sell item upgrade items? <laughs> Whatever, yeah, do you sell those? Because that would be really handy if you did. Thanks to you, my store's back. Right now, I don't have anything in the store to sell. I mostly do trading. Sell goods I purchase from other countries to merchants here in Queens. I'm really sorry I can't be of any help to you. Bruh, that's annoying. I was really hoping you would be, like, helpful in some way. But it turns out you're kind of useless to me, huh? By the way, stream, I hear you've been traveling a lot. Do you have any plants from which I can make herbal medicine? And the island's off the west health related goods are very popular various herbs are really popular now you think it could be a base for an herbal medicine sells really well if you have anything of that sort I'll gladly trade you something for it. oh okay never mind we do have those not on us granted we'll have to go and get them from from storage but we do still have those i don't know how many we have but we have at least one oh no why did i go to weapons um this select menu that's what i want Oh, never mind. I guess we just want to go right here. Okay, well, you're not here yet. You do have a chest, though. Premium water. Whatever. It's a thing. I'll take it. And then you're probably just going to tell me that you want a third cart. We're not from around here, isn't that right? Welcome to Queens, a beautiful seaside merchant town. My name is Lana. Nice to meet you. Do you need anything for your place? I had three push carts with fruit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wouldn't expect anything else. Well, we should probably go up to the second floor of Baskers 2. See if there's any chests there that we missed. Can we go in the second floor? We can! What are you hiding? What kind of secrets do you have in here, Basker? Nothing down here. Nothing at all, really? Well, that's lame. I thought he'd have at least one chest hidden up here for us to, to plunder. One all the way up here. Mimic Breaker, which isn't one that we need, but still. Stuff is stuff. And then... Cathedral. Cathedral, Cathedral. And the Leaning Tower. I guess we need to go there, too. More gourds. My lord. Okay, let's give some of these gourds to people. Or, well, to Ruby, specifically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so everybody has eight. So I, I do want to keep it even. I mean, we should probably just give the extra one to Zhao, because we use Zhao more than we use anybody else, but... Meh. Day change. Or time change, whatever. Mage Slayer, that's handy, okay. Weapon. You. Steve, customize. Mage Slayer. That one we can make use of, because you do need Mage Slayer. Into the cathedral, what do you need, Phil? Holy gem, we can use that too, actually. And holy. What's the difference? Is one, I think one's like holy water, right? Or holy, and that's a sacred gem. A sacred gem, the same thing as holy gem? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and apply holy. 
now whenever we get enough experience, which should be soon, we can go ahead and upgrade that and then see what else we actually need. I hate the camera, man. They love to hide stuff using the camera, though. Oh, well, it seems you. It seems that you have an important mission, I can tell. My name is Phil. I'm a servant of God and the keeper of the cathedral. If there's anything I can do, please don't hesitate to ask. What do you need? really need the emblem, the symbol of the cathedral. It has to be placed on the wall of the entrance hall. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure we don't have that yet, so... Pocket? Oh, that probably upgrades our storage and our backpack, right? Allows carrying more items! Yeah! I guess it doesn't matter who we give it to, because it's just a blanket upgrade. Good timing, too, because we're running out of space quickly. We collect any other items that I've, like, just missed somehow? Uh, we do have another gourd. Okay, well, I think... Other than checking out the Leaning Tower... Wait. Didn't we... Not go to other area, go back. Didn't we unlock, like, more floors for the tower or something? Did I forget to check the tower in this list? Yeah. Second floor. Third floor. There we go. I don't know how I forgot about that. There's nothing else that I, like, looked over, right? That needs upgrades that we have? There's a whole, no, okay. You need fruit carts. You're not here for me to ask what you need, but I'm assuming just more carts, because that seems like what everybody needs that have stalls. Mm, another fruit of Eden. I don't know who I want to give it to. I guess maybe Ruby? I'm tempted to give it to Goro because of how freaking little health he has, but or not health, but defense he has. another one but with how little we use them I feel like it's kind of a waste uh, we can sell stuff here at least before I forget because we are gonna end it it is nine o'clock oh no quick sell 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 oh, we have how do we end up with so much gold that, sell that, sell that, hmm. we could sell more just like generic healing items and just keep a stock of these, they're just so expensive, that's the only reason why I'm like, I don't know if I want to or not, but, like our inventory is getting to be a bit too full. One escape powder. I'm keeping all of the repair powders, though. I mean, granted, a lot of it's bombs, and as soon as we get to the boss, we're probably going to use up all the bombs, so... So I'm sure it's fine. 140, so we can get you to 100. So then both of our ranged characters are at 100, both of our melee characters are at 150. That seems fair. Uh, anything else I want to do before calling it for the day? Oh, yes, yes, because I'll definitely forget. We need to go back to the storage lady and get our herbal healing leaf thing to give to Basker. I'm assuming he's just going to end up giving us, like, the mighty healing, the cure-all, basically. It's probably not worth our time, honestly. But I don't know, he could end up giving us something really good. Like, I have no clue. Might as well stop and check at least, it won't take long. I would like this, the ointment leaf. It makes cure all medicine, yeah, see? Like, I feel like it's just gonna make one of those mighty healings, super healings, whatever the hell.
I'm also going to buy two gold bars real quick. Since we have a bunch of money. And I don't want to die in a dungeon. Lose all the money. So we need to save it in case we come across the shop that I'm pretty sure the internet told me exists somewhere. <laughs> that sells really good items for upgrading weapons. Uh, back to Queens. And then Baskers. We're going to Baskers. Which is you. I, I think so. Oh, we use square. Okay. I thought, like, just clicking on him would do the trick. That's not the right item. My bad. Oh my god, why? <laughs> I did that twice, man. Like, I hit right and then it just double clicks. I don't know, am I holding it a second too long or something? Here, we'll just, like, do it this way. There we go. Just don't hit right. Problem solved. Oh boy, this is the ointment leaf. Stream, this is amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen the real thing. This leaf, you can make a cure-all medicine. Good for any illness. Do you want to trade this with me? Thanks, I'll give you something great in return. Just a minute. The thing is, like, they literally sell cure-all medicine at the shop just down the road. You know that, right? Like, what do you need the leaf for if you can just go and buy one? Please, take this. Foundation? It's a new product just released in Rondo City. A magical powder that makes women beautiful when they put it on. Give it to your girlfriend, she'll love it. Oh, it's literally foundation. I'm assuming it's a quest item. Flying it on the face makes you pretty. Okay, yeah, it must be a quest item because I can't do anything with it. Interesting. All right, well, whatever. Uh, I guess now is as good as the time as any. So, thank you guys for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit more of Dark Cloud. Excuse me while I stretch a bit. Ugh. I'll be back uh, tomorrow night to play some, whatchamacallit, with my brother, Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, until then, have a good night. Be kind to each other, y'all. Bye! As the day turns to dusk. Uh, uh, Max Hidden Pocket. There's no other way anyone can find it. When I returned from doing my business, I caught him leaning over my stuff. <laughs> he jumped back with a guilty look on his face. The pack was cut open. My amulet was gone. Oh, what? May I be of assistance? Oh, we're saw jumping in. These are my responsibility, and I believe I detect some tension here. This man Lon has been accused of thievery. The woman claims he took her holy symbol. You stole my holy symbol. <clears throat> He all but had his hand in my back when I caught him.